Hey guys, happy Monday and welcome to a new vlog. If you're new here, welcome. Make sure that you like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at um, bangela underscore pe. I am preparing to go and take advantage of all of this sun um, and try to get an outfit pick. As I mentioned in last week's vlog, I have signed up to do a consistency challenge on Instagram where I will be posting pictures every day on my feed for the month of February. So anyway, this is the base of my outfit. Just some black tall lace up boots from Zara, some black page denim skinny jeans and a black turtleneck. And then I'm probably just going to throw a wool coat over it and a big scarf, nothing too fancy. Just need to get some pictures that aren't in this apartment on the timeline. So that is what I am doing. So I am going to get out of here and get that done. Then I need to run to Trader Joe's because I don't have any groceries and then I have to do actual work. So a lot going on this Monday morning. Um, yeah, let me put on some layers and I'll come back and, and show you what it looks like all put together. So as I said, it's not gonna be like a outfit picture, more of like just some lifestyle pictures on the timeline. So I just threw on this oversized scarf um, from Favorite 21, it's super old. Um, and then my long wool coat from Mango and the boots and the black jeans. So yeah, just a few quick pictures to drop on the timeline. Let's, let's see what we get. pictures people act like they've never seen you take pictures before it's quite annoying anyway so I've got a few that I think will work it's freezing I have to get home I'm mad because the Sun comes from this way and the lake is back here and it has so much snow on it and I would have loved to like take pictures in front of that but the lighting isn't right but anyway I got some just out here in the grass so that should work Hey guys, happy Wednesday. So I just threw on a hoodie and these wide leg leather trousers because I am going to run out and try to get some pictures since we have a little bit of sunlight, especially because we have snow in the forecast again starting tomorrow. Um, so I just threw on this hoodie with these uh, leather trousers, like I said. Um, I'm going to go to the mu museum not far from my house and just like try to get some cute pictures on the steps. And I didn't want to put on anything that I wouldn't actually wear to a museum. Like I want to keep the picture's pretty realistic. I don't wanna look like I just put on an outfit to go take a picture. So if I were like going to a museum with my friends, I would probably wear something like this, minus the heels. I have on heels. We'll see how long that lasts. I'm definitely not walking to the museum in heels. I'm going to put on my New Balance to walk to the um, museum. Let's, let's hope I remember to take them off when I'm taking the pictures. Anyway, so this is the outfit. I have on these like, tall brown boots but I don't know I love the round toe but like not under these pants so I don't know if they're gonna make it anyway let me head out before I go though I guess I can show you what will complete the outfit so I'm gonna wear these like pinkish um, aviator shades I got these from like a, a street market one time and I've had them forever and then I'm gonna put on just the H&M puffer coat again um, just to like hang off of my shoulders, give me something to hold on to to do with my hands. Ugh, I need to clean that makeup off really quickly. So there's that. And then I've set out the little things that I need. So I have my tripod, I have my um, extender for my iPhone, and then I also have my little clicker so I can just, you know, move around and click pictures. So I'm gonna put all of that in the bag and these boots. I'm gonna put those New Balance on and I'm going to run out and get some pictures. Okay guys, so hopefully I got some good pictures. It is cold, I am rushing home. I'm not even taking my boots off to like put my New Balance back on to walk home. I'm walking home in the boots. That's how cold it is. Luckily it's not that far. I just wanna get out of here. Hopefully I got something. Um, yeah, if not, that was a bust. Girl, I am shining, 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 shining. <laughs> it's much later in the day. I'm just being lazy and like sitting in the middle of my bed. I have y'all propped up <laughs> on my like decorative pillows on my bed. Um, I logged out of work maybe like 20 minutes ago. It's about 5.30 p.m. Um, I exported some vlog footage into my computer. I am about to make dinner, nothing fancy. I'm gonna have chicken thighs and broccoli 
and mashed potatoes. Um, I'm going to read a few chapters of Gabrielle's book. I got through chapter one last night before I fell asleep. I can already tell I'm gonna like this book. I can already tell that I'm going to like this book and it's going to be like a page turner. I'm going to have to pace myself um, and do like two, three chapters a night to not run through this book, but I can already tell I like it. But I wanted to share something really cool with y'all. So um, I was talking to my little sister on the phone yesterday, well, through text message, and she was telling me that she, you know, really wanted to treat herself to something nice. Um, and she wanted to get a uh, Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton, uh, uh, Louis Vuitton um, speedy bag. And so I have a Louis Vuitton speedy bag. Mine is vintage. It's a little over 10 years old. It was my first ever designer piece of anything. Um, my boyfriend at the time got it for me. I can't remember if he got it for my birthday or for Christmas, but I stopped carrying it a long time, like well before I even moved to, to um, Chicago. So I carried it for about three years and then I realized I didn't like big purses. Um, and about five years ago, I stopped carrying purses all together. I literally just grab a, a wallet and go. Although I am in the market right now for a couple purses, um, one that is obviously black and then one that's a brownish shade or of some sort um, that I can both carry with a handle so I can wear with more um, dressier looks and then also comes with a strap so I can wear it more casually as like a crossbody. They're probably definitely going to be designer bags. I don't carry bags, but if I did carry bags, they would be designer bags. I like bags, I just don't carry bags, if that makes sense. Anyway, um, I'm rambling. So what I decided to do is offer my little sister my bag. I've, I've kept the bag. I haven't sold it or anything like that because I always imagined it being sort of like an heirloom and I would pass it down to like either my nieces, girl, they don't need my bag. They got their own bags, okay? Um, or my younger sister. So um, I offered it to her. I'm like, it's oh, it's vintage. I'm like, um, but I'll... I'll send it to you if you want a bag and you can you can save your money. Um, plus vintage is better anyway, honey. Um, so I dug it out today. This is the, the bag. I am going to stuff it with like some trash bags or newspapers or something um, before I mail it to her. But yeah, this thing is like 11 years old. Still in really good shape. Some of the piping like at the bottom and stuff is a little raggedy, but you know, adds character so i'm gonna mail that off to my little sister and i thought you know it was just something special to share i actually have a little twinkle in my eye just thinking about sending um it to her so this is my first family heirloom that i'm passing down and then maybe one day she'll pass it down to logan you never know so yeah just wanted to share that little story with y'all i am going to make me some food read this book I just ate an edible, so I'm probably gonna fall asleep. Yeah. So happy Saturday. Don't have much going on. I actually just got done watching Malcolm and Marie, which was an extremely exhausting movie, but also I really enjoyed it so much that I watched it twice. So I watched it last night, then I just watched it again not too long ago. Um, I came on because I pulled these uh, jogging pants out of the uh, mail today. I ordered them from Urban Outfitters. Just thought they were cute you know, whatever, they're, um, uh, they have a Basquiat print on them. And so I just thought they'd be a cute little pair of lounge pants. I actually put them on hmm, an hour ago and haven't taken them off. And this sweater is on backwards. Just in the house looking crazy. Anyway, I do have something to do tonight. I'm going to a birthday dinner. So I'm actually going to get a little dressed up. It's snow flurrying outside. I don't know if y'all can see that, but I'm still going to put on a cute little something maybe not a dress maybe some jeans but I'll, I'll obviously come back and show you all what i'm wearing before i head out to dinner but yeah i just wanted to pop in and say hi okay so i'm super far away from the mirror but this is the only way that the lighting is halfway decent um so hopefully you get a pretty good idea of what i have on um i have just a little time before my friend gets here so i have on this uh, zara blazer the one that buttons on the side showed it in a haul a few weeks back got it during the zara sale um after christmas then i just have on a old um zara like wrap knit that i got maybe like last summer from zara and then then I have on my El Goldie crisscross jeans. I have them just cuffed up a couple times. And then I have on some, um, I mean, when I say old, I mean really old Dolce Vita boots. And I have the pants cuffed 
quite big because the boots are slouchy I don't even know if you can see that there it is um, the boots are quite slouchy so I just have a big cuff in the boot um, or in the jeans so that you can see some of the boot and that's the look so again super dark but hopefully I'll snag a picture or something and you'll be able to see it on the gram so make sure you're following me on Instagram handle is Angela underscore B E okay let me get myself together so I can get out of here <laughs> as you can see I actually took y'all along with me because I feel like I haven't vlogged what is up with this sun because I feel like I haven't vlogged that much this week I just didn't have a lot going on next week is going to be really package heavy because I've been doing a lot been doing a little bit of shopping um but uh so I took you along to Trader Joe's with me just to like add some something to the vlog I'm still in those uh Basquiat leggings uh sweats that i had on um yesterday i literally took them out the pack and put them on and haven't taken them off well i took them off because i went to get dinner last night but i threw them on the little bench by my bed and put them back on this morning so you know that was why i bought them anyway i didn't get anything exciting from trader joe's to show you outside of my normal stuff stuff i eat every week but i did get a few snacks because your girl is on her period and one, one thing about me when i'm on my period i'm a snacker um so i got some ventures tangy uh triple cheese chips i don't know if this is a midwest thing but i used to love these chips growing up mm, they still taste good mm. i also got some flaming hot cheetos because girl i love flaming hot cheetos even though the, they didn't became popular I also got some almond croissants. I love these chocolate almond croissants from Trader Joe's. Fire. This is about to be breakfast. Croissants and chips. And that's it. That's all I got. Grab some of this Trader Joe's hand sanitizer because I like to take it to the gym with me. It's just easy to carry. That's it. Ah. So it's not even 10 minutes later. Um, and I am sitting down to start reading a few chapters of Gabby's book. I didn't get to read any on yesterday, so I'll probably read three, four chapters on today. Again, I'm trying to pace myself with this book because it's not that big and I want it to last throughout the month. Excuse me. Yes, sister. Okay, I'm back. I have no clue where I left off, but I am reading a few chapters of Gabby's book today, pacing myself, trying not to read it all in one sitting. It is very good. Man, the last chapter that I read, it was hilarious. It's about this girl named Quishan that wanted to kick Gabrielle Union's ass. It is hilarious. You just, I cannot wait to do a review on this book. I feel like it's gonna be so much more laid back than the one that I did for Elaine's book which I I loved by the way but Gabby is <laughs> Gabby speaking about language okay this son is so annoying um anyway so that's all that I have going on today not much um definitely going to wrap the vlog up here read my book chill out this week was sort of a roller coaster had a little bit of like family issues that we don't go into on the internet so just know that it it took me like it put me in a bad way for a couple days but i'm back i'm feeling good i'm feeling great i'm gonna read my book probably watch some tv um i need to watch this show called fake famous or something like that on hbo max everybody keeps talking about how good it is watch malcolm and marie i think i mentioned that really good movie but it is just oh gosh it is such a hard watch it's, it gives you a headache but you know I enjoyed it there are a bunch of mixed reviews on it a bunch of think pieces I don't think it's as deep as some of the think pieces go but I never 
think that stuff is as deep as some of these think pieces go so you know how that is but anyway um yeah make sure that you are following me on instagram where i give live rent updates on stuff like that all the time my handle on instagram is b angela underscore b e and yeah i will talk to y'all in next week's vlog let's get into it